Whereas people are focusing on young people, Radden and Belfast. They really should be focusing on, on this building here. This building and the institutions that surround it are occupied by the biggest criminal gang in, in Europe. And that is the elephant in the room. That is the elephant in the room that, that no one is speaking of right now. This criminal gang occupies a place in where they can they can destroy Northern Ireland and where they can use their privileged position to to destabilize ordinary people, ordinary citizens in Northern Ireland, whereby they can set back reconciliation for, for decades. And who is it that holds them there? Who is it that has put them in place? Who is it that stands beside them and ensures that they can stay in place? Well, that's our own DUP. That's our own British Unionist politicians that we elected, that we put in power. We're coming down towards a statue, a statue of the founding father of, of Northern Ireland in the year of our centenary, in the year where we, we are 100 years old. What is actually happening is that the criminal gang that occupies the, the house on the hill, they, they are destroying us. And there's only one meaningful proactive protest that we can make right now. And that's not up to our young people to, to make that protest. That, that's not up to young people who have been discriminated against, who have been separated from the rest of the United Kingdom and who have had their democracy denied because of the threat of violence from this criminal gang. It's not up to the young people to fight this battle. It's up to our own political leaders. And they're failing right now. And it's because of the failure of politics that we find ourselves in this unpalatable situation.